people love playing with me, but hate it. When I play back, what goes around comes around. minute to spare because it's so much I just want to get right into it. Hi everybody, how are you today? Hey, what's up everybody? How y'all doing? Happy Monday. All right. So listen, uh, I don't have a minute to spare. That's on my opening. I like that. <laughs> I really like it. Um, but we got a lot to talk about today. What I came on here for to mostly talk about is the Royals, okay? Because what you're not going to do, let me tell you, like, so I did a report this weekend about the Royals, about uh, Prince Harry, not Harry, Prince William's affair with this alleged affair with this woman and the alleged baby. And what I don't understand, so the Brits, they were in their feelings in my comments section, okay? I let you have your little May Day. Okay, you're in your feelings. Not our beautiful, most wonderful Kate. <laughs> this, is, this is what you're not going to do. What you're not going to do is talk shit about Meghan Markle, okay? And then when it's Kate's turn, you worried about privacy. That's what we're not going to do over here. Oh. And I feel like I'm the perfect person to comment on the Royals because at the end of the day, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. I think what Williams uh, Williams is um, more messed up than a little bit. Uh -huh. And I think that he could be the king any day now because we all know Charles has cancer. And today the Russians reported that he had passed away. They responded, said, no, he has not passed away. But, you know, I can't trust the Russians either. I don't know. But one day he's going to be the king. And what he's doing is the same thing that happened to his mother, the same exact thing he's doing to Kate Middleton. And so I don't think you need to be uh, mad at the Americans for that. You need to be mad at Prince. What's his name? Are, are simply mad at themselves. <laughs> I mean, let's keep it real. Like, it was over the top. It was over the top. You don't know what you're talking about. Ah. That's been refuted. That's been this. Where is your proof? Where is your proof that is wrong? People going to deny it. And they had all day overtime to talk about Meghan Markle. Okay, now I don't mm -hmm. hate her, love her. I don't know her. I don't study right. uh, what goes on over there. But I did recognize y'all had all day to talk about uh, Meghan. And now, mom's the words. You don't want to talk about the baby out of wedlock? Child, I got all day. We can For talk real? about it. They're over there right now talking about P. Diddy. Yes. Now, that's the amazing part. They can throw the stone, uh -oh. but they in their feelings. You know, yeah, the rules, gotta... the rules. You can't talk about the rules. Look, we talk about P. Diddy. You can talk about Biden, Trump, who the fuck you want to. Mm -hmm. We don't care, but don't have something to say when it's something happening in America and act like, Ain't no freakiness going on in the palace. Because that is just right oh, down no. ghetto. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about that. Ghetto. Then we're going to talk about Carisha and Puffy hiring a uh, publicist, a PR firm to do over their, vac their uh, bad uh, reputation. It's not going to work, Diddy. It's not. He trying, though. He's try he is trying, okay? And Carisha's upset that people are turning on her like, what? Why are y'all talking about me? Girl, you know you the new, new Elon, Elon uh, Maxwell. <laughs> I cannot pronounce that name. Someone has to tell me. It does, it does not pronounce the way that it's spelled. Elon, and it starts with a G. 
Anyway, whatever. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about them. Then we're going to talk about my favorite. And see, I kind of understand what the some of the British people are, are going through. It really hurts deep when you have to talk bad about somebody you love, okay? And my somebody is Jennifer Hudson, okay? <sighs> she went through a lot with her mom and her family. Remember what happened with her family? And, you know, she's divorced. And I just want the best for her all the time. I had one eye open when she started dating Common because we know Common's reputation, people. We know the reputation. And now it's being reported she wants to marry Common. <sighs> Come on, Jennifer. You, you've been through too much. You've been through too much to fall for that trap, okay? Common ain't marrying you. Or nobody else. I'm sorry. I love you. But girl, it's time to wake up. You getting caught. Now you're going to be the next Tiffany Haddish. You're going to be drunk somewhere on the side of the road because he didn't marry you. <laughs> okay, I do go a bit too far sometimes. Not drunk on the side of the road. But that's what happened. Tiffany Haddish is still not over. Had to go to allegedly. <laughs> had to go to rehab because of a man. All of the common threads today in each thing that we're talking about are crazy no good men damn that includes perry's segment of uh what did i say it was called the shit show shit, shit, shit show yeah because something's really wrong with jermaine dupree so that's what we're gonna start with so i'm gonna start what time is it let's start with Jennifer Hudson really quickly because I'm trying to get to the Royals. I'm trying to get to the Royals. I want everybody in the room because they had all day to talk about me. And now I have to return the favor. <laughs> uh, they are out there, people. They are out there. Uh, what did I do with the Jennifer? Here we go. Okay, you guys, look. I don't understand these women. Do you think because I've been married so long, Perry, I forget what it's like to be single? And am I am I a prude? Am I? Um... Uh, I I don't think so. I think some of the things you may forget, but I mean, stupidity ain't one of them. <laughs> you know did what I'm saying? Call, did you just call my girl stupid? No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> even at this age, whether you married or not. Uh huh. You can't come across to be this simple Simon kind of person, you know, that naive and desperate. Don't call her desperate, okay? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm just saying, I'm just just saying. Let's talk about Jennifer Hudson wanting to marry Common. Child, oh, Jennifer. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you think Jennifer's on bath salt? She must be doing some kind of like what what is common got that these women keep ignoring all the signs and still want to marry this man. Look at what happened to, to Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> he brought her to her knees, had her drunk as a skunk. I love you, Tiffany, but we got to talk the facts. Laying in the middle of the no road, fell asleep in the middle of the road with the car running and her foot on the brake. Mm -hmm. Sleep from being drunk. Damn. Damn she's That's going through some things. She, yeah. Turned her into a stone cold alcoholic. Now I do get it. <laughs> Nobody can make you drink. Nobody could make you do anything you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. But you know, she started uh, Tiffany Haddish. I, I feel sorry for her. She started talking about him all the time and how she was hurt. And then she started making shit up. This is what I think. You guys will tell me what you think. She said that she was pregnant by him and that she miscarried. Well, you didn't. You didn't talk about it until a year and a half later. I don't believe you, Tiffany. I think that you were drunk and that you just can't get over this man. And you're not the only one. I mean, how, how many people has he dated? I don't even want to go down the list. I did a video about that. Uh, and he's he's dating like really smart women like Taraji P. Henson. Like Taraji P. Henson wanted to marry Common? Like, girl, what is your uh-uh? Some men just don't ever want to get married, and it is what it is. Jennifer, you've been through your troubles with men, okay? You got a divorce. You allegedly cheated on David, if you listen to David, and you said you were never going to marry again. Perry, what is it? What is it? Well, what is it? I don't know. I, I think their first mistake is, like, common can be cool to them or whatever. 
but they got to realize his plus, his strengths, and his weaknesses. He could be a good dater. <laughs> you just don't marry him. <laughs> right? He's not good being tied in, locked down. But the <laughs> dating scene, <laughs> see, you know, and I think that what Common went in there and did, and he took these women, whipped them up, got them into shape, <laughs> and they think it's no other, it's like no replacement. It's crazy. No, I'm laughing at Measured Man. Cause so David Otonga used to be on, uh, do you remember Tiffany Pollard had this show? It started out with Flavor Flav and then she had her own and he, um, she almost picked him one year and they called him punk. You did not go back. That had to be <laughs> so many years ago. Do you remember that? And yeah, then she was yeah. going to, Tiffany was dating Chance and Real. Do you remember oh, yeah. all that? Child, that's classic I'm television. Back. Okay. Uh, Perry is doing his second job right now, uh, handling real estate. He's about to close on another home. So uh, looks like I'm going to do it myself. But you, but Measurement, not punk from New York. I love New York. That was a classic. Reality TV has not been the same since Flavor of Love and Tiffany of Pollard. I mean, that was classic. And then it became scripted. And then it started being not good. But uh, I loved it. But anyway, so Jennifer Hudson is uh, strung out over Common, wants to marry him. And all of her friends are afraid for her. I'm afraid too, because he's going to do you like he did Taraji. He's going to do you like he did Tiffany. There's so many women that he dated. I have forgot. Erica Badu. The list goes on. He has never married any of them. But what he has in common is when you come out publicly, just like Tiffany, and you say you want to marry him, girl, I'll be back in three weeks. He's packing his bags right now, Jennifer. I just don't think you're the one that get him to walk down the aisle. And why would you want to? Okay? Girl, I love you, Jennifer. Please leave that man. Dump him now since you have made it public that you want to marry him because he's not going to marry you with much respect, respectfully, okay? Because I love me some Jennifer Hudson. Don't want to see the breakup, but it's coming. This man, you know, he claims, so when he was with Tiffany, so now listen to this, Common went to, uh, what do you call that when you go get help? A uh, therapist. He went to a therapist and uh, he said he had commitment issues because of what happened to him as a child. He was touched as a child, but he claimed that he was clear that she reformed him. Therapy helped him so much. So then he went back to date Tiffany again. Now he broke up with her twice. Okay. So he said he was reformed and that he was in love and he wasn't going to do any, you know, do her like he did last time because therapy helped. Two months later, two months later. So I give Jennifer two months and she'll be back on here heartbroken about common and he'll be on to the next. It is what it is. I love you. I love you, Jennifer. All right. Let's get these quick fast and out the way. Let's move on to uh, Carisha. Okay, you guys. So you guys all know that P. Diddy went out. Uh, it was, I think it was on Friday. He went to a Kanye's concert because Kanye was doing Rolling Loud. And uh, he came with all his family, you know, uh, the real nut job son that uh, the oldest one, Justin, was there. They were all there. And he, according to the rumors, he hired a PR firm to help him with his reputation. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. Like, uh huh? <laughs> Have you forgotten, Diddy, what you've been accused of? Your money's not going to get you out of this, okay? It's not going to get you out of it. We can't forget. Yeah, you want to go to court and prove your innocence with Rodney. And I think that's a bad move. Don't go to court, Diddy, because more stuff is going to come out about you. But it's not about you today. So according to the rumors, he said that he's going to... Uh, restore Carisha's reputation also. Now, carisha has been going through a lot. Young Miami, you guys, that's a rapper named Young Miami. People have come out publicly and called her the Elon Maxwell. According to the rumors, she went out and got some of the women and men for the freak off. According to the lawsuit, she wanted to sleep with her own cousin. 
I don't know. You can you can hire anybody you want. This is not fixable. This is not fixable. Carisha's having a hard time with it. She went on the internet. It was a Saturday. Let me post to you. Uh, play what she said. She's crying and carrying on, talking about people are two-faced, you can't trust them. No, Carisha, your reputation is mud, okay? And you, by you running out of money, they're saying she's running out of money because Diddy stopped paying her stuff. She keeps talking to him, hoping that one day he's going to take her under his wing again financially. None of that's going to happen. It's not happening. I hate to be so blunt with it. You are, your reputation's bad. Your music career, it wasn't that good to begin with. I'm saying this very respectfully so you can stop crying on the internet. Let me play the clip really quickly. Yeah, I, I, I really want to know something. If y'all don't like somebody, why do y'all watch them? Like, why? Like, why are you here? You don't have to be here. Go where you go where you wanna go where you where you what, what you like. Don't come here, babes. I ain't got nothing for you. You gonna stay mad. You gonna stay mad looking at mother me. Like, don't come here. Don't if you don't with me, why you why you here, babes? Cause you ain't gonna do nothing but get mad again. Listen, she's asking the questions. I wouldn't answer otherwise, but she's asking us, why are they there? Because they want to see how you handle this when your ass ends up in court also, along with your man. You guys have really destroyed a lot of people's lives. And it's funny how you want us to act like that you're not associated with Puffy. You're all in the damn lawsuit, okay? Why are they there? They don't like you, and they want you to get off of the internet. Now, if no one else is going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, okay? Let's finish her whining. These hoes can't f*** with you. Like, yeah. <laughs> what? And I need to stop it here again. She wants to act like she's not phased by the treatment that she's getting you are phased don't come with that that's they're gonna hate you even more if anything shut up unless you're willing to tell the truth about the freak offs no one wants to hear about you you know i hear that cassie is still in therapy and she suffers from ptsd because of your man okay your own cousin is he's not feeling you all right let's keep going I ain't, ain't no motherfucking. I ain't paper short this picture. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Let me get that top there. Y'all always get up and moisturize y'all. Yeah, that's what oh my god I, I i i'm done she said something vulgar she said they need that you guys need to go moisturize your private area and then you have the nerve to sit up there and talk about you don't know why people don't like you what kind of ghetto shit is that to say <laughs> girl stay out of the media get an attorney because you're going to be sued next the only reason you're not sued now is because you're broke and people know that you don't have any money Carisha, you have to be accountable for what you and Diddy did. And DJ Academics is not the only person saying that you are all over this. You're the Elon Maxwell. You were the person that, you know, yeah. drew in the victims. It was you. And now you want sympathy? Girl, Perry, please yeah, yeah, tell sorry me. About that. Hmm? Now, I caught part of it, but uh, it's some stuff. I, I might have to go in a minute, too. Is it not going good? Uh, all right, all right. You yeah, guys yeah. know Perry got another job, and so you'll handle that. Yeah. It's always, listen, whenever you buy a house, it's always a problem. It always haven't, Perry, since yeah. 08. It's always a problem. Anyway, so listen, so I had to talk about those two women really quickly to get to what I want to talk about. And Perry, you just click off whenever you want to go. You might not be able to, to do your shit show today. Let's talk about the Royals because I was offended, okay? Now, I want to say this before I even get started. 
And Perry, you reminded me of this because my friend Zoya, who's Iranian and the culture's different. Not everybody. Right. Um, are brainwashed by the Royals. Some people understand that they don't really have a job or a purpose. Okay. You have one job and that's to bring your country together and you y'all can't do that. Okay. So not, I'm not talking about everyone. I'm talking about the people that were in my comment section acting like it was impossible. Right. Yeah. For William to have an affair on his wife and not only an affair, bring in a, I don't want to call her another child, a child out of wedlock. Cause y'all know I could be here, you know, like, please, like y'all were here all day to talk about Megan. Why can't we talk about William? They talked about Megan all in the chat yesterday. They, yeah, they always got something to say about Megan. Now, I don't know what the complaints are about uh, Megan because I'm not into it. That's why I'm the perfect person for this. That's why I'm following the Royals now because I don't know the ins and outs. But let me, I know the ins and outs of what's going on right now with William and Kate. Okay. Rumors are that. Damn abdominal surgery that she had. I looked it up. There is no abdominal surgery that takes over 14 days to heal, let alone eight months. Now, you guys have to know when you're being lied to and when the story just doesn't make sense. So the Brits think that Kate has been away healing and this is why she hasn't gone in public. And then she came out and took responsibility for the photo that they edit, trying to be a happy family. No, the rumors are out there that your best friend, what's her name? They call her Rose. I think her first name is Sarah. Uh, What's that chick name? Hambly is cheating with your man. And that she only lives three minutes down the street from your damn house, your summer home. Now, there's no worse betrayal than a trusted person going after your man, right? But you really have to look at the whole picture. Prince William, who will be king... I say any day now, because, you know, they're saying that Charles isn't looking too good. Is a shitty person. <laughs> it is what it is. He's putting his wife, Kate, through the same exact things that your dad put Princess Diana through. Now, I'm not going to hold anything back here. It is what it is. Americans are not the only people talking about What's going on? People are in the comment section. That's not true. Listen, Stephen Colbert, and I played the video for you guys in the video. Said it. CNN has said it. This did not come from Sherelle, and Sherelle's not the only person saying it. All those stupid people in my chat talking about I'm about to get sued by who? <laughs> who am I going to get sued by? I'm the last person they want to sue because I'm going to go into all the business. Well, we know Kate ain't going to sue you because hell, nobody know where she's at. We know where she is because oh, it gets worse. It gets yeah. worse. That was yesterday's news. It gets worse today. Mm. Uh, I just want to compare how low down William is. That's your friend. You were friends with her husband, David. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the, the title. This feels like a little karma coming your way, William, because you had all kinds of things to say about Meghan and Harry. You were disgraced. You were ashamed. Your dad wanted to know if the baby was going to look black. Remember that? Somebody call her an N-word in the in the prison that you guys call Buckingham, honey, um, what's it called? Buckingham Palace? Palace. It looks yeah. like a damn prison. Let's talk about what's going on now, okay? Because I'm not the only blog talking about this. And you guys should be thankful that we are bringing it to your attention just in case they're not playing what's going on over there. So they're saying that in December around American Christmas time, Kate Middleton found out that there's going to be a second baby on the way, as in she's pregnant now. 
and that the woman decided to keep the baby. These are the rumors, not made up by me. No. Everybody's talking about it. CNN is talking about it. What are you guys talking about? Daily Mail. That I'm making this up. Daily Mail, The Sun, Mirror, everybody's talking about it. And that Kate had a nervous breakdown. I feel bad for her. I really do. But see, I I get what you're saying, too. But a lot of people are saying, too, because I've been just reading it. Some people feel bad, but they don't forget how she did Megan. Mm -hmm. So they just feel that it's her karma. Don't throw rocks in glass houses, okay? Just in case you think I made this up, let me play a little footage of some of the people, not all, some of the people are talking about, okay? I didn't make this up. Let me put, let me get this. So here is another, just listen to this. So they're talking about everything that's going on and one of the hosts is just in pure denial. Take a listen. (laughs) Well, the great topics getting around, and this will uh, continue to develop throughout the week, is the royal family. Uh, so many, so many rumours floating around about what is going on. Um, if we pick things up from the Photoshop fail from last week, we then sit back and everybody wonders, well, what happens now? Do we hear an update from Kate Middleton? Um, how is her health? What's going on with William? Why haven't we heard from him? And why hasn't there been a follow-up statement from the royal family? When you're talking about her health, and I just want to say this to, to yeah. begin, is if she is unwell and she's had a, abdominal surgery and we didn't, we would, we were notified that we wouldn't hear from her or see her until Easter, leave the poor girl alone. Like how, of course she's, not only is she dealing with some serious health issues, but imagine sitting at home, no, scrolling no. through the internet, well, reading uh, all of the uh, the rumours. Like, we had an answer back then. I-, I need to pause this for a minute. Was Kate the only one that was that had to sit around and look at all the rumours on the tabloids? Didn't Megan have to do that too? I'm just saying, let's keep going. But it does seem as though this machine of what's happened, where is she, well, what could possibly be going on. It comes down to two options. It's a health issue or there's trouble in the marriage. Could Isn't be both. It? Could be both. It could be both. Could be both. Um, and I suppose what sparked more rumour and fueled controversy was the fact that in the photo she posted she didn't have her wedding ring on. That was a big one. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, one of the rumours, I mean, there's so many we could play on this show. One of the rumours flying around, and this one seems to be dominating at the moment, especially across social media, would be this. Allegedly, around Christmas time, it was revealed to Kate Middleton that the woman that Prince William has had an ongoing affair with, we call her Rose Peggy Hanbury, she got knocked up with Prince William's child, and she decided to keep it. And it was brought to light around the holidays, and Kate Middleton, rightfully so, had a nervous f-ing breakdown. And that's allegedly what's going on. So I'm standing 10 toes down for the Princess of Wales because it is it is giving Diana 2.0. But now it makes sense why, A, Prince William is a horrible husband, allegedly, but B, why we are getting in the midst of all of this like, like horrible sh- that Kate Middleton is going through, why they are teasing articles and putting out like PR profiles on Rose Hanbury because she's Prince William's new baby mama. The prince has a baby mama while he's married. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being uh, sarcastic here because people were actually saying that I made this story up. For real. That I made it up and I'm jealous of Kate. I, I'm not jealous of living in a prison going through the same exact things that Princess Diana went through. It's no way. It's just no way I want to live in that situation. The embarrassment. Now, I do feel sorry for Kate because I'm a woman. And these blanks ain't loyal. Men are, some, not all men, a lot, a lot, I'll put it that way, uh, are horrible. Mm Mm-hmm. Prince Williams acts like Kate is nothing to him if these rumors are true. Right. How do you put 
your wife through exactly the same thing that your mother went through. Are you out your mind? Are you that heartless? And now you think, see, see, some of these royals are out of touch. That's why I don't understand the, the purpose of the monarchy. I'm American, so you guys will have to explain it to me. Aren't they supposed to represent unity and, and the best of England? But you can't do that when you're running around, you and your father having affairs, and then expect us the or expect you guys, the public, to be okay with it. We weren't okay when it happened to Diana. We're not okay when it happens to um, Kate. And and you're going to be the king? And then you want, you start out this, what do they call it? Peace, a slow transition. So the rumors are, is that Buckingham Palace thinks if they keep introducing Rose to the public, eventually she will be accepted the way that Camilla Parker Bowles is accepted. Now, first of all, who's accepting Camilla Parker Bowles? You guys have no choice but to put up with her. That doesn't mean people accepted it. The whole thing is quite despicable. And I'm saying that as an outsider looking in, because some of you guys just go into denial. There's no way that our precious Williams can do this. Listen, but it's okay to talk about somebody else. I've learned uh, after doing this job, anybody is capable of anything. And there have been things that have come out that were a hard pill to swallow. P. Diddy, one of them. I had a whole different perception of him in my head. But we have to remember, we don't know these people. They put out what it, out what they want us to know. I'm telling you, there's going to be a tell-all book about Kate, and it's going to parallel Princess Diana. The royal version of Coleslaw. <laughs> the royal version of Coleslaw. Oh, my God. Y'all know Kobe is a hot mess that always makes me laugh. But I do feel sorry for uh, Kate Middleton, if this is true. Most likely it's true. They keep putting it on a down the surgery. No surgery lasts eight months. And just by trying to docker the photo, something's going on. And so if this is going on, my heart bleeds for her. See, because I have compassion for people, just like I had compassion for Megan. I don't want to live in a place where I know they're worried about what color my baby's going to be. You know, they. I feel that the Royals have this standard that is impossible to live by. And something's going on in the palace where all of these women are just miserable. Fergie, name a woman, they're miserable. It's a lot, it's a lot to deal with. And if this, if this is true, your future king ought to be ashamed of himself. Who does that? I don't want anybody to just convince themselves that this is impossible because William wouldn't do that. You can't put anything past anybody. That's why they say, don't judge a book by its cover. Just because something looks pretty and nice and neat on the outside doesn't mean it's not a hot mess on the inside. Don't judge a book by its cover. And, and infidelity happens in all right here. Hey, hi, uh, Freddie. Did you want to come up? If you if you do, I'll drop it for you. He says, apparently, Kate will address her issues at the next royal appearance. They have to. They have to. Because everybody's wondering the hush hush game is not working. And because of their reaction. I'm believing it. Who's going to make up a story like this? But it's no need to argue and go back and forth with each other. We need at this point, and I, I don't want mean to go Maury Povich on you guys, but we need a paternity test. There, there's no arguing. There's no slandering anybody. Paternity test. 
There's no need to come in Sherelle's comment section and call her a liar. Paternity test. Oh, here we go. My favorite Brit. Hello. Hi, Freddie. How are you? Yes, I am well. Thank you. I have so many things to ask you because you're British. They were so upset with me by covering this story. I did not make this story up, Freddie. You Wait, who's that. upset? All the Brits in the comment section. They said I'm disgusting and how dare I make up a lie and then I'm going to get sued. I did not make this up. So Stephen Colbert, and I played the tape in the video. I did not make that up. There's so much going on. Is this impossible to happen, Freddie? What are your thoughts? I mean, what I will say is that there have been a lot of rumors about what's happening with Kate Middleton, Catherine of Wales, whatever people want to call her. And the fact that the royals have not given an answer or not said what's happening, they've said she's had abdominal surgery of some nature, we still don't know what it is. And the fact then that all these photos, you know, there have been a lot of suspicion things that have happened, the whole, you know, cropping of the royal photo didn't help things as well. And I think, you know, whether you're a royal, whether you're an A-list celebrity, you know, people are going to question what you do in your life. And it's actually probably easier to just say what's happening rather than trying to hide it. But I think mm -hmm. the thing we do have to remember about the royal family is that they are sort of told what to do by what we call the men in suits. Is that like a print, a King Charles in? in, mm, in no, it's, so it's sort of like the the people like that tell that advise him and tell him what to do. Advisors, if okay. you watch the Crown, you would have sort of seen how it works when they sort of tell the Queen, say for example, that her sister wasn't a married allowed to marry the love of her life because he was um he was a divorce he was a divorced man and they in the olden days they didn't used to allow royals to marry divorced women which is why charles was not allowed to marry camilla um previously because of the fact well a for the first time it was she wasn't aristocratic. And then later on, when she'd got divorced, he wasn't allowed to. So that's why it took him years to marry her. Now, let me ask you this, Freddie, and I don't want you to speak, speak for all Brits, just yourself. It came out how miserable Princess Diana was. And she was adored here in the US. What about in Brit in England? Was she adored? I mean, Princess Diana made no secret of the fact that she had a miserable life. I mean, even before being a part of marrying into the royal family, she had a very troubled childhood. Her mum oh. left left home uh, when she was still pretty young. The dad, I think, allegedly had alcohol issues, was abusive as well. Um, and so for her, so she was... Diana was always a vulnerable person and she never should have really married right. into the royal family. It wasn't right for someone like her. What, what about Kate Mil Middleton? What do you know about her past? I think Kate Middleton's different. She wanted to be part of that life, you know, and I think her sort of her family sort of groomed her into wanting that as well. Her parents were known to be quite pushy and wanting their children to you know, climb up the sort of the social and the wealth and the status chain of things. Is she technically the definition of what the royals want out of a queen or, you know, whatever her role is? I think she's the version of what royals want now, because in the olden days, they used to want people that were you know, law, you know, that were that were ladies that were aristocrats that had relations, whereas now I think they want to be more relatable to people. So Kate, so Kate's family or Kate's family were the parents made money, but her grandfather was a minor. So they were what we call working class. So and in the royals, I think Kate's the first was the first person that from in a senior royal 
that actually married, um, you know, that a, a working class person married into the royal family. Now, I'm not saying what you believe if this was true. Let's just say if it was true, which is horrible. And 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 William someday is going to be king. Is something wrong with him? <laughs> like why would like what well, he had to go through this with his mother? He had an upfront look at what it would be like. Life is like when you know. No, I have to ask you. I know right now it's just a rumor, but they're not being upfront. What other reason would they lie? Do you believe the rumors? Because they have to be seen as the forefront of this country. And I think they're sort of advised, they're badly advised by people to, to, to you know, they've got to be seen as the example of things. So they never like to look bad. So anything that's bad or isn't 100% perfect, they like to cover up. But what I would say is we live in a new era. You know, people are fine if people have mental health issues or eating and someone like Kate who's so popular it would actually be of service if she was open about mental health or eating disorders or whatever whatever it is that she's got Kate's in a position where she can get the best PR you know they've got the best they can spin it in the right way to make her even more popular so she's popular what about uh Prince Williams they're both very popular I mean, they're considered the most popular royal couple um, in the UK, without a doubt. This is terrible. Freddie, there's no abdominal issue that I can think of that lasts over eight months. Well, uh, if, the- she had, if she had colitis or like colon cancer or something like that. Oh, wow. Uh, or like Crohn's well, why wouldn't disease? you just say it? The 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 Brits would totally support her if she had some kind of cancer. Or I some agree. Kind of I agree, but the royals do not operate that way. Oh, unfortunately, well, why not? That, it's it's just they just don't they just don't, and they're probably being advised not to say anything. That it's better to not say anything than to say anything. But I think the problem they've got now is that by not saying anything, you're allowing conspiracy theories to go around. And Mm -hmm. we know that the conspiracies Mm -hmm. have got bad because the palace itself has come out and had to speak against the fact that Kate went missing and things like that. So when you get to a point like that, I mean, if it were me, surely you just want to open Mm -hmm. up and tell the truth. But Mm -hmm. clearly that's, that's not how they want to do things. Um, Let me read this really quick. Royal life isn't easy for anyone who marries a senior royal. They don't call them the firm for no reason. They call them the firm? (laughs) Yeah, they call them the firm. Oh, that's deep. It says, I'm certainly not upset Kate Camilla ganged up on Megan. They can live with their karma. Now, let's talk about the treatment of Kate versus the treatment of of, Kate. Megan, I know you you don't like Megan. People say she's a narcissist. Do you think that she had to deal with unfair treatment? Well, the thing is with how the royals work is it is a hierarchy. And the fact that William is the future heir, the future king of England, that automatically means that the wife who will be the future queen will get treated better and will get more privileges than the, the, the younger siblings. That's how it operates. Where but how would it operate if, let's just say for the sake of this conversation, that he does have children out of wedlock? What would happen to those children? Like, how does this work? This is weird. Well, of the well, I, I mean, allegedly they sort of hide those lot if they have them. But Are you serious? Just, uh, well, allegedly there have been rumours about people. I mean, there's been rumours that supposedly Charles wasn't, um harry's dad but no um, you, know, you heard that of, yeah that, that's been a rumor before i mean but yeah i mean they they don't like that whole sort of um yeah no that's an absolute but can no-no. they be modern now uh uh freddie and say okay yeah i had an affair 
it, but the, it, the thing it, is, is that when you were the the monarch, you're also the head of the Church of England. And of course, in the Church of England, the Bible, you know, sort of, and you know, religion doesn't really agree with people having children out of wedlock. I get that, Freddie, and that makes sense. But nobody's perfect. Oh, I agree. No one is perfect. I think we, uh, in life, Every every single one of us, we all have something to learn. We can all do better in no matter what it is. If this is true, and I don't know all about it, I keep saying I really don't care <laughs> because I'm American. But if this is true, I don't like, I would not like Prince William. You don't do that to people. And she's been she's been a good wife, right? Yeah, she has. So what? What? what is it? Because I've not watched the whole thing. They're saying that she had a nervous breakdown around Christmas time in America, which is around December, because she found out that Rose Hanbury had is pregnant now and is going to keep the baby. So that will be the one daughter, Iris, that they think is pregnant. And why aren't no DNA tests been performed? So I because just want to know. Because, because they're never going to admit that someone but that would settle everything. There will be no arguing. Just do a DNA test. Right? Well, I mean, the, the rumor about him having an affair with Rose Hanbury has been around for a couple of years. And that rumor allegedly that started a couple of years ago because one of our neighbors who used to live in the state of New York, she obviously still has friends in America and goes back and she saw it in a magazine there. But interestingly enough, they weren't allowed to print those stories in the United Kingdom. So we never saw them, but we have heard about oh, them through, through Americans or people we knew that had friends or family in America. And then, of course, these things spill onto social media and they go online. And then you have people on Reddit and stuff talking um, about them. But the Rose Hanbury thing, that's not that's not new. Uh, that's been around for a longer. Uh, there was allegations a couple of years ago that supposedly he'd had a child with Rose Hanbury out of wedlock and stuff. Um, and that allegedly her husband, who's um, some titled guy that owns an estate, allegedly he's sort of in the closet. Right. I heard that too. That, Wait, that, that what? rumor. Wait, that oh, rumor oh, oh, oh. What did you just say? <laughs> allegedly her Rose Hanbury's husband is in the closet. Allegedly. Yeah, right, I'm going to drop the link. Go ahead, Perry. You talk to me. Right? And see, you like, like I said, mm. all this is rumor stuff. But where there's smoke, there could be fire. Uh, allegedly, back in 2019, when Prince uh, Williams, William, started hooking up with, with the chick and, and got her pregnant, allegedly, right? Yeah. yeah. That they tried to smooth it over by her marrying this. He got some kind of a uh, title. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's the, ma he's the ma ma March. Let me search. It's the Marchioness. Yeah. It's so a weird, got, it's a weird word. He's got a title though, right? But the rumor yeah. about him is that they did it for a cover up. Now they, they're married. So it, it looks normal. But so he, I want to be perfectly clear. He he's the, he's the Marquis. He's a Marquis. And allegedly he go to France. He's often gone and in France with his boyfriend. Okay. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. That is that is the rumor that is around. <laughs> no, it's just rumors. Now I'm just saying, like, yeah, that's that's serious. serious. Did these rumors we talking about? I mean, Sherelle, <laughs> come on. Perry and I have not been that smart and had a pre conversation before. No, that's right. <laughs> Let me bring up a caller backstage. Hi, caller. Welcome to the show. This is insane. Uh, what are your thoughts about this whole thing? Because it's a lot. Hello. Can you hear me? Perfectly. Yes. Oh, wonderful. You know, first of all, let me say, Sherelle, Perry, I love you. Oh, you. Uh, Freddie, I truly adore your contributions, and I'm so happy to be up here with you. Oh, um, you. In in my per personal opinion, mm -hmm. I don't think that there's anything nefarious going on. Mm -hmm. I really and truly believe that uh, Kate has had a facelift, and she's recovering from that facelift. In order to, I, you know, hear me out. She's had a facelift and she is fully recovering from that facelift. And when we see her again, she's going to be living, looking smooth and tight and skin just as smooth as glass. If you look back to the 2023 
Grammy Awards when mm -hmm. Madonna mm -hmm. presented. Mm -hmm. Remember how swollen and puffed mm -hmm. she was? Yes. Kate would never be allowed to go out of the house looking that way. And I do believe that she has a stressful job, which has aged her beyond her years. Mm -hmm. If you look at her at her wedding, she mm -hmm. looked like a young 30 year old woman. She looks closer to 50 now. I really, you know, and what I'm not trying is to it about years. this job that is so stressful in your opinion? What is it? You know, I, I think that, first of all, a marriage should be based on love and royal marriages are based on the work you have to do. And mm. while you may sign up for that and you may feel I'm ready for it, when you get in your marriage and it's not based on love and every night you go to bed with your husband and you know that he is allowed to sleep with someone else and there's other ch ch children, of course mm. that's going to age you. Of course. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that, you know, she has aged beyond her years and that's because of the the position she's in, what mm -hmm. she deals with with her husband, with her with her in in-laws, uh, you know, how she has to compete on the market, the royal wor wor world market for attention. Um, and I, I really do think that when we see her again, it will be um after she is completely healed from a facelift. Now, I have to ask you with the hard question, because really, at the end of the day, I don't care not to be mean. It, it just doesn't affect my world. But was there unfair treatment between Megan and, and, and Kate? Oh, absolutely. I feel so. Look, while the polls often show that, you know, first the Queen Elizabeth was the favorite royal, then it showed Will, then it showed Harry. From what I've heard from people that I speak to in London, Harry was always the favorite. And oh. when Harry married, that really took away attention from Will and Catherine. Mm. And that was very devastating for them. That was hard for them for, to deal with because they are the heirs. And for the spares to be, you know, shining through, that That's was very, true. very difficult for them. That's so true. I do believe that, you know, part of what they dealt with, Harry and Meghan, was just, um, you know, harsh treatment, um, microaggression, macroaggression from, from uh, the prince and princess of Wales. All right, last question. If these rumors are true, is this the end of the monarchy? No, not at all. Look, this is what princes do. <laughs> and I'm sure Freddie can attest to that. You know, princes are not expected to be loyal. And I, wow. I've seen a lot of people saying in the comments, how could he do this? How could he do this? Right, what right. else does he know? This is how he sees women being treated in the royal family, exactly. not only by his father, but by all men. And and Prince and Prince Philip was a, a cheater as well. Yes, he had no. a ballerina, correct? Seriously? Yeah, and he, yeah, he had a number of affairs. Oh my god! No. Okay, so they're right. Well, there is a there is a, without a doubt there is a history. They've they're all cheaters. They're all at it, That's and crazy. unfortunately, I don't think the buck's going to was going to stop with Charles. From what I understand, before Kate's marriage, she was told it's a, not a matter if he cheats, it's when he cheats. This is the royal prerogative. He so will have So you're saying women. that if you, she knew what she was getting into in so many words, right? Yeah, they you know what? She wasn't I mean, 19. Diana was 19. Kate uh -huh. was 30. Kate was Kate 30. Was 30 yeah. And Kate was told, this is what royal men do. He oh will not gosh. be faithful to you. That, that. Wow. Thank you. That that makes yeah. every that changes everything for me. Like yeah. it's crazy. Listen, thank you, Simone, for coming up. I appreciate you call, calling in. I do. Absolutely. I love your show. Hey, can thank I you. hang out backstage? Because I'd love to talk to you after the show if you have time. Yeah. Well, why don't you hang out? Let me bring up another person. Okay. Hi, Melanated. How are you? How you doing, Chevelle? Um, Please, this is a lot. What are your thoughts? This is a so lot. So my thing, my question is, is that um isn't there supposed to be like some type of um, announcement coming out and that the color code right now is in red and the father Charles um, had made an appearance because there was speculations that the announcement was going to be that Charles died and God forbid um, that Charles passed and 
that Charles like upstaged that rumor by making an appearance to, Freddie? and now everybody's just speculating so that there was a conspiracy be... theory from what I understand that Charles had died. Um, and that came from a Canadian site, but that was obviously disproved um, quite quickly. And I think a Russian site said something Russian, about yeah, it. And then the Russian embassies dismissed that. Um, but with Charles, we've seen him, even though he's got cancer, we've seen him around a lot more than Kate in all right. honesty. And, and, right. and, 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 and Barack Obama um just um rolled up there i think even yesterday or just recently he made he went up there because of this announcement i'm assuming is barack I mean, obama there i heard some about barack going over there or over there to talk to them or do something and i also been hearing about this press conference or something about ready to go down right and you know after the things i've been you know just reading i'm thinking are they about ready to come out and announce that it was an affair or they're separating? We have to if it's, if it's I, true. I don't know. It's like everybody's in the dark. And and uh, the kids, the kids are missing. Nobody's seen the kids since Kate's been gone. Oh I mean, God. what I would say about the kids is that unless they're at royal events, they are very rarely seen or pictured. Okay. They said they, they, they haven't been enrolled in school either. So that's, I mean, other than the appearance that they're not even going to school. So that was, you know, another. I mean, I've not flag. heard that. I've heard their life has gone, their life is still as normal. But oh, they, okay. But, but when Freddie, they were you have to agree. All of this wouldn't be happening if they just told us what's going on. Facelift, I agree. And to rest. Okay, we get it. But their secrecy is making this worse. Would you agree? I do agree. I, I, I thought you was talking to Freddie. I was. Maybe you didn't hear oh, me. Oh, sorry. I froze. It's okay. I was just saying that the way that they're handling this is making the situation worse. Oh, yeah. I agree. I completely agree. I I think, you know, honesty is always the obvious answer. And, I, and as I said earlier on, I feel, you know, with all these conspiracy theories that have been about and people guessing and things, surely isn't it easier for them? to just admit what's happening rather than allowing people to make their own judgments, which actually could be a lot worse than what really is going on. And I want to ask you another question. This is anybody on the board. Can Let me read this really quick. So Kate heard black don't crack and then ran for nip and tuck, especially after seeing Megan's gorgeous skin. You are messy, Bonji. <laughs> You're very messy. Do Now, do the Brits blame Megan for coming between the two brothers and will the brothers ever reconcile in your opinion? Let's start with you uh, Freddie I think that there was all there were always I think issues between the brothers even before Meghan Markle was part of the picture to be honest. Interesting. And that is because what the royals they favor people that are going to be the future monarch. They give them more attention. They give them more privileges. So whether Harry married Meghan or not, that was always going to happen, unfortunately. Um, and so there was issues and sort of jealousy there. And that was why Princess Diana was so keen that when the boys were with her, that she gave them as much normalcy as possible and really made it um, a key priority of hers to make sure that they were treated equally because she knew that when they were at, um, around, you know, the queen and King now King Charles and the queen mother, William would always be favored because of the fact that he's going to be the future monarch. Really quickly, Melanated, do you see the brothers uh, working this out? I, I don't. Because of the, uh, it was it was too many like you know macroaggressions that took place. Whereas when they sent them to um Canada or whatever, him and Megan, he removed all security detail and blasted that he was up there with no security detail. That was a macroaggression. And right here in New York, 
They had paparazzis chasing them down these crowded, you know, streets in the middle of the night right after um, Megan got that award. And that was like, I think it was an attempt the same way that they did Diana. So I don't think that there's going to be any attempt that, that that's ridiculous. No way. I so think I that William is jealous because Harry is handsome. He's a heartthrob and oh, William is, is, is a blubbering fool. And I think that um he has no, some type man. of I think, big problem. I don't think anyone sees either of them as hot anymore. I mean, they're both. I blinding. like Abby. I, mean, I think Abby not... is handsome. You okay. know, I will say I've I've seen a couple of documentaries that said Princess Diana was very worried about the fact that Princess that William was the heir and Harry was the spare. So she gave affection to Harry that William was very jealous of. Do you and see reconciliation though, Simone? I don't see reconciliation. I, I don't. I think that their worlds worlds are now completely split apart. Well, they are Yeah, agreed. You know, one right. thing that I think that may happen, mm -hmm. I I think that Prince Charles may be sicker than we've been told. And if it comes down to him abdicating because of him being so very sick, I think then Harry could be brought back into the royal family because Prince Andrew cannot be a part of the royal family anymore. Okay, he cannot we don't, represent. But yeah. I think what would happen is, to be honest, I don't think Harry actually really wants to come back. I mean, I think he, right seems, about that. Yeah. he seems happy in America doing Netflix and things like that. And I think he likes the freedom of, of doing that type of stuff. Well, I think what they would do is they wouldn't bring Andrew back because that's social suicide for them. What they do is they'd sort of promote someone else in the royal family to do those types of duties. I okay, think, so listen, I think that uh, if you can, Freddie, I know you're really busy. I'm going to be covering the royals now. We need a special day. For the royals, <laughs> if you can, I know you're busy, to add on to the housewives because this is is a lot. Well, well Sherelle, so can I say this too? And, you know, because I was on the phone off and on, but Simone has said something. I heard this rumor that she could have been going for a facelift, right? Or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. However, now you take what the rumor says. Uh -huh. Now, I heard rumors that it was during the holiday season, could have been Christmas, whatever, mm -hmm. that it was Kate and Prince Williams at a location, mm -hmm. the Amalamps came up, took old girl to the hospital. Now, that wouldn't be a facelift, a planned facelift. And there's rumors that he could have roughed her up. <gasps> no, okay, this no, is no, getting no, worse. Oh, my. No, I've not heard that. I have no facts. No, I'm just telling you what the rumors. Oh, no, that, that, I, that would be worse. No, well, no, no. I mean, I heard more rumors that he could have did that and is is not out of the norm. So I'm no, not her in fingers the, were in splints. I, I You're right. Know. Her fingers were in splints. You you heard her fingers were in splints. I gotta hurry up. I did not think it would take this long. Um, listen, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna get with Freddie. See if he can come back. But me and Perry are gonna find a day a week to cover this because number one, I didn't know so many Americans were interested, and two. I, I need to find out what's going on. I want now. I'm invested now. I want to know. It's starting to be more interesting than Diddy's freak freak fest. No, not more interesting than that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I got a lot of calls backstage, you guys. I'm gonna try to all right. Bye. Uh, donate a special day. Thank you, uh, Melanated, so we can uh, get through this because something happened, and we in and, and the Brits need to know. Not so much us, but. The old zip. Oh my God. I mean, the Brits. I mean, here's the thing. Yes, it's not in the newspapers, all these rumors, but it's still appearing on social media and all those types Ours of things. Ours was so on, on CNN. Ours was on CNN. So oh, yeah. So, like so this, the yeah. rumors are not, we are not like on the BBC News or, or things like that, but mm -hmm. we're still getting, seeing these things, you know, on social media, or I've got friends that are in America that send me this type of stuff. But the difference is with America, they don't have these rules where the royals can block them from, right, right, right. Uh, you know, showing and talking about things like that. I love your open mindedness. All right, you guys, uh, I have to end this here. Perry's got another meeting. Uh, we're going to dedicate. I'm. I will be following the story. It's insane. Now I'm becoming like those people that are 
<laughs> Always worried about the royals. Now I am one. All well, right, you maybe, guys. Maybe I'll have to stand outside Buckingham Palace with the microphone <laughs> next time. When I go to, yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, please let me know very kindly in the comments section what your thoughts are. Please don't argue with each other and don't go after me because I'm not going to stop. And like, don't go after me. And don't go after my buddy Freddie or, or Barry. I'll go or or I'll come none of us. <laughs> well, I mean, for me, I mean, you can come out to me because, you know. I don't care. Go after Perry. All right, yeah. you guys, thank you so much. This is a terrible story, and I still feel bad for Kate, if that's true. All right, you guys, uh, take us out, Perry. Fuck this shit, I'm All right, you guys, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.